Hi everyone. Welcome back to Devere's Dark Side. Thank you so much for joining me. Just wanted to say thank you so much to all my subscribers and to my new ones. Welcome. So I'm beyond happy that you're here. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much it helps the channel. I come from the generation where uh, we, we watched the Bionic Woman, Wonder Woman, the Bionic Man, uh, Bewitched, other shows like The Wizard of Oz. Do you remember The Wizard of Oz, the cartoon, The Wizard of Oz? Some of you, if you were born in the 60s, the cartoon shows in the morning. Like, I used to like to watch Bewitched, so I have to go back to the old way of making the magic happen, right? So in my videos, that's what you will see. Put the skirt on the bodice and now I have to put the arms on. I'm going to put the arms on and then I will... I was thinking maybe I should just leave the hood off and if I want to wear the hood, I could. I could have that option with or without. So makes it easier because I really don't know how to put a hood on the turtleneck and I don't want to take the turtleneck off because I do like it. How do you how do you put a hood on a turtleneck? You can't do it, can you? Can you? Could just be a black sweater coat that you wear in the winter. And I like calling it the, the witchy black I like witches. Nothing wrong with that. I'm eccentric. Nothing wrong with being eccentric. It's actually not so boring. But some would say that I am quite boring because this channel isn't as dark or as mischievous as one would think. Or, or is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but my sweater coats are going to have a bit of a dark side to them. The beauty of that. If it's not your cup of tea, that's okay. It doesn't have to be. This channel is for entertainment purposes. I hope you stick around and thank you so much for joining me because again it does help the channel. And you meet so many interesting people. You guys make up part of that dark side. So that's very cool as well. Okay, with that, enjoy. Maybe I just need to...
Okay, so this is so the waist is brought up. I brought the waist up. This is close to being an empire waist. Hi. Okay, so I have brought the waist up. I have not taken out the. I've not taken out the actual uh, strip, the strip of waist. I've just pinned it up just to see, just to see what it looks like. It's still there. I just wanted to see if it's going to complement my waist my hips, if it's going to complement my hips, and uh, I have to go to the video to see because I don't have one of those dress forms. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to the video and check it out, but just wanted to say I have not cut the waist out. I just pinned it up just to videotape it and to see, to see if it works, if it does work, I will take the waist out. If it doesn't work, I'll just leave it there. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, so. I have noticed that. The top is not black. It's not really, really black. It's almost like a uh, an old sort of faded and I don't want that. I don't want that at all. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... I'm going to use this. Now, I don't know if it's... Good, but <clears throat> I'm gonna try it. And I'm going to dye the top and see how that goes and hopefully it'll be the same color as the skirt that I'm attaching it to, which is the same skirt that I have been working with all this time. So that is my next step. If it works, that's great. If it doesn't, at least I tried. I'll see how it looks afterwards and uh, if I have to also add the skirt to it, I will. So for now, that's what I'm going to do with the bodice of the sweater coat that I've been working on. Okay? So stick around. Okay, so in order for me to dye the top that I wanted to dye, I had to take it apart. So I've taken it apart, took it off the skirt, and I would like to see the difference in the light of day. It's different. At night it's different. In the daytime it's different. You can really see how it looks. Just the vibrance of it. Actually it's not a color, it's a shade. I was reminded that black and white are shades. They're not colors. <laughs> okay, I will dye this in the morning and ho hopefully the color will work out. Okay, there you go. You guys can see. I am, I am dyeing the top and the back. I'm dyeing everything basically that isn't black enough. So this is what it looks like. Standing here for about a, a half an hour moving this because that's what you're supposed to do. 
Sorry if I'm wobbly. Four more minutes. And then I take it out. They say that the longer that you keep it in is better. So I'm going to take it out and uh, rinse it. I've got to rinse all of the dye out until it's clear. Until it's clear. So you have to move it up and move it down. That's what the instructions say. And wet your, wet your items before you actually put it in there. Make sure you get it from the bottom and push it up and push it down. If you stir it, they said that it will not look right. So I'll push it down, bring it up just to move the water and the dye, right? And I'm on, I'm on six right now. Not too hot because you don't want to melt your fibers. Okay, so I'm going to shut this down and I'll rinse it and the next thing you'll see is me putting it back on. That's what they look like. After coming out of the color bath, I'm going to lay them out to dry and after they're dry we'll see if the dye took and if it did that's great, if it didn't I'll have to do it all over again. If this, so, if this looks good on the video, no more has to be done to it other than cutting down the middle to put to make it an actual sweater coat. Right now, it's a sweater dress. So the hood is going to be detachable because I don't know how to, like unless I add it, Add it here. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. So we're gonna make it a detachable hood, which is good. I'm happy with the arms. The arms, yes, I am happy with that. It's just the bottom, the hood, and the middle that needs to. Work. Huh. It's a work in progress. But like I like I always do, I will go to the video, see what it looks like. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll take it off and I'll just, you know, trim it up. So with that, stay tuned, stay with me. Thank you so much for staying with me so far. You guys are troopers and uh, hopefully I'll finish in the next shoot. Okay.
to comb my hair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not presentable and I really appreciate that you guys are okay with that. So thank you. The sweater coat, even though it is heavy, it is meant to be heavy for the winter or from October to, let's say, March. Yeah. And I have, I'm not sure if I finished the hood or not. It's still a bit of a work in progress. I'm still trying to figure out if I want. So my magic's all screwed up today. So, so you can see this, right? Now, if you want to know, then you're going to have to go to my Patreon page. So see how I've attached these? Pins are still in it. Yeah, I shouldn't, whatever. <laughs> Pins are still in it, so I might add another one or an inside, like um, to make this longer so that it's more dramatic. And as you've seen before with the excess, you can just wrap it around your neck like a scarf or something. Mm -hmm. and, and Ooh, so spooky. spooky. So, I might put buttons on the end so that I can button it to the sweater coat. We'll see. The last thing to go on are the buttons for the front and I'm waiting to find the right buttons because I don't want to just put any old button on there. Just to rush the project, I don't, I don't like doing that. And trimming the bottom of the coat and that's it. And we can, we can wear it out in public, just like that, if you want. It's up to you. It's your preference. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim the, the bottom of the sweater coat to make it more of a shark bite looking, sort of the sleeves. So these are the sleeves, and you knew that. Yeah. So the bottom might reflect the sleeves, and that's tying it all together, I believe. I know that everyone has been waiting, and thank you so much for being patient. It's a big job. <laughs> so thanks for being so patient and staying with me. I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna look at this, See if I like it. If I don't, if it's good enough, I'll post it. If it's not, I won't. Okay. Have a good day. I gotta go now. If residents wanted to relocate and live somewhere with more opportunity, they couldn't. They didn't have the resources to leave, and so they were trapped. And since 1991, <laughs> nothing has changed. Hi. Hi. Welcome back to DeVere's Dark Side. Thank you so much for joining me. No. Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to DeVere's. Oh. Hi, guys. <laughs>